welcome to Inception, our beautiful headquarters here in sunny Manhattan Beach, California. We execute everything here from tech development of our cars, UI, UX, design, social media, marketing, events, everything, you name it, all the magic happens here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the upstairs in our atrium. Come with me. Here we've got the Fisker Atrium. This is where we hold all of our town halls, where we have our innovation awards, where our executives, CEO, co-founder have speeches and speak to the Fisker team. This is really just a beautiful creative space. You can see our CEO and co-founder chose the floor to ceiling windows, opening up the light, bringing that in to open up the creative minds, get the creativity flowing. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs where we're gonna go have a chat with Charles. Hey, Charles. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Good, good, just doing a tour of the HQ. All right, you guys, I'm gonna hand it over to Charles. All right, everyone, so we'll start our way off down this corridor where we're gonna pass by several departments. So you're gonna find data privacy, cybersecurity, IT, ops, a lot of the lifeblood that really keeps this company going. Finally, I'm gonna introduce everyone to our connectivity and edge computing team. Hey, how are you doing, Rafi? Hi, good. Hey, Rafi, Mike, if you guys have some time, love to ask you some questions. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think uh, a lot of people are interested to know what are some of the capabilities of our over-the-air update system? Oh, we have a fantastic over-the-air update system. It allows for safe and effective and efficient updates of the ECUs inside the vehicle. Uh, we can send updates to individual vehicles or to a whole fleet of vehicles. Now, welcome to the HEX department. So HEX stands for Human Experiences Design. So what that means is really anything that the customer or one of our users might interact with, this is the team that really comes up with it. So within the department, uh, you'll find teams such as UI, UX, audio development, video development, uh, HMI, user research, really just like a focal point of a lot of this creative energy that comes into the company. So let me go see if my friend Ariana is available to take some questions for us. We are very curious that as a senior designer, what are some of the things you think about when it comes to the user experience of the vehicle? Well, we follow a human-centered design process, which really means that we understand how people interact with the car, what their pain points are, and ultimately how we can innovate into emotional, delightful experience. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and we're gonna go look at one of my favorite parts of the car. We're gonna go play with the screens. Let's go. All right, now, welcome to what we affectionately call the lab car. So the lab car is basically the electrical architecture of the vehicle itself. So I think a lot of people have seen this giant screen we have in the car. Can you tell us some more about what makes it so unique and what are some of the software that's running on it? Sure, so this is the leading class 17.1 inch screen. So the unique thing about it is it can rotate and it can play like um, graphics content, video, media, and uh, people can play games as well on this. And they park it in uh, park mode and uh, it's going to do uh, theatric mode performance with uh, stunning audio. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Charles, how'd it go? It went great. We met a lot of team members. Ready to turn it back to you. Love to hear it. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna head over to the powertrain center. Follow me. First, I'd like to ask you a little bit more about our great solar roof. So how did your team manage to integrate that with the, the power of the vehicle? So that's a great question, because obviously solar roof on top of the car takes the energy from the sunlight, turns it into electricity. But what do you want to do with that? What we wanted to do, the most flexible thing, is to put it into the high voltage battery. But you've got to answer really important safety questions to do that successfully. Uh, you have to make sure that you don't create any risk when the vehicle is charging so when you turn the car off you're parked the, the battery has still got to keep charging it's got to do that safely and managing that integration of the two so that can happen without causing any hazard is the art to doing this effectively but we can do it so now we've got full key off charging so whatever you do with the car you park it at the side of the road you drive along the highway uh, the, the battery will always make use of any solar energy that's available that's so, super useful so we're very proud of that so let's talk more about the battery over here so your team was able to achieve better than about 10% than the marketplace right now as far as energy density. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. So the, obviously the secret to this is you've got to put as much energy as possible inside the box. And that's what gives the customers the range. You need the battery to protect all that, all the cells in there from crashes or from 
uh, understrikes and so on. And the way that people typically do that is to put a lot of internal structure in the pack. So there's a lot of metalwork inside a normal battery pack that's all there to protect the cells. And of course, that's very important. Uh, what we were able to do, working with our uh, battery supplier and our own Fisker engineering team, is design a pack that only has a single cross member, but still keeps the pack safe by having a very efficient design of sidewall around the pack and also integrating it into the vehicle in a way that achieves safety against those crash loads by routing the loads around the pack or through that single central cross member so that there's a full protection for all the cells, but we make the most use of the internal space. So the end result of that is we get a vehicle with a real class leading range, but with a pack that's actually very compact. So as you say, it's about 10% better, we believe, than the best vehicles in the market at the moment. Of course, our intention is to continue to improve that in the future, but we're very, very pleased with how it's gone so far. Hey, Natasha, we're here for our final stop. Hey, Kalisha. These are our Fisker Ocean test vehicles. These are wrapped in our special camouflage that our team designed for these vehicles. The reason being for this camouflage is when these cars are used for media drives before we really release them, we don't want people to see the full design of the vehicles just so our competitors can't copy our design. Moving on, these test vehicles are also used for heat testing, cold weather testing, chassis testing, ADAS testing for safety, and much more. We test our HMI on these cars as well. Um, so all these cars are used for testing just to make sure that these cars are in top shape. So that's something really cool about this area. Wrapping the facility tour here today. It was a lot of fun. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks for joining us.